Hello Collective and welcome to the Humble Sage. If you're new here, be welcome. If you're returning, thank you for supporting my channel. Today we're going to be doing a daily tarot message. It is a general message, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. It's also a timeless message collective, so whenever you find it, it's for you at that time. Thank you for being here with me. Let's get stuck in then, collective. Quick daily message, let's see what's what. I hope you're all doing well today. And hit that subscribe button. It'll keep you updated with any future developments. First card out, we've got death. The page of wands, the eight of swords, and the queen of cups. A renewal has happened here, and whatever is happening today for you personally in your world, you're freeing yourself. You're finding that compassion within you. And that's probably part of the moon cycles that are happening at the moment. Right, we've got a new moon in Pisces coming up. It is all about renewal, the shadow work, understanding those darker aspects of yourself and how you find opportunity from them to grow and develop, to move forward and freeing yourself from this mental self-imposed prison. Because we're all unique beings. We each of us have our own gifts, our own abilities. Most definitely, whoever I'm doing a reading for here, you're reaching a higher mindset. Yeah, victory I just saw, and the chariot. You're most definitely charging forward with a higher state of understanding. It could be that you've overcome some spiritual attacks recently. It could be that you've reached a milestone with your career, or you're moving towards that. Right? Next, we've got the magician, indeed. Manifesting and the star. Nice. And the nine of wands. Beautiful. And finally, we've got the Three of Cups at the bottom of the deck. We've got the Queen of Pentacles. This reading is definitely speaking to me about finding that self-love. Because self-love is not just about self-care. Self-love is also saying, I'm going to give myself that career. I'm going to do those studies to work on that qualification. I'm going to put pen to paper or perhaps it's uh, something else to pertain to your career. And you're saying, well, I'm going to get stuck into it because practice makes perfect. Because by giving that energy to something, the more energy you give it, the more it grows. A career and a business or a family or a home doesn't just fall from the sky. These things build and they grow over time. Incremental stages are what lead to success. I'll say this because the magician's here. This could, may look like, as it's a major with the star here, it may look like that huge things can just manifest from the sky. Possibly. But incremental changes had to happen for you to reach this point of the magician. So perhaps the message is today, focus on your healing and focus on your growth. Give yourself and nurture yourself when it comes to sharing what you want to with the world. If you need to do studies, get on with it. If you need to go to work and get on with it to earn that extra cash, do it. If you need in some way to reach out to somebody, perhaps, do so, right? But make those changes today. Right. Push forward. You may feel like the wounded warrior. You may have had spiritual attacks, physical attacks, mental, emotional. It could be here that, you know, you feel like the world is trying to set you up. People are trying to set you up. It could be that all of these, because this card for me as a whole as a reader is potential because each one of these can speak about experience. So even though all of this may have happened, this wounded warrior here may look wounded, but they're not broken. They're not dead. They're not gone. They're still going. And that's the point. We keep going in life. We keep pushing forward, right? Here with this three of cups, celebration could be a foot here and it could be something like you need to collaborate or you will be collaborating. So take that on board. Like I said, reaching out. You may think that an opportunity isn't an opportunity, but you won't know unless you try. You won't know unless you get stuck into it. And there we have the three of cups, right? This Queen of Pentacles is about self-love, self-care and nurturing. It's also about having that stability, that inner stability and a balanced state of mind. So perhaps that's something to be mindful of today, collective, to hold that balance, hold that truth. You know, if it's something on a practical level, like making sure you eat, stay hydrated, meditate, do so, right? Maybe it's something uh, more holistic, like you want to meditate or you want to take a spiritual bath, something that can really help your well-being so that you can move forward. 
the blessing of positive thought here is something that's very, very important. Life isn't all about positivity and positive affirmations won't fix everything for you, but they certainly will help you to get through things. Because when you stay in a negative mindset, look how that develops, look how that grows, look how in some way you end up all of a sudden in a stupor and you're like, how did I get here? Right. The same goes the other way around to understand that we are the change. And as we flow with the change, having a positive mindset can help us to navigate our way more effectively. If something doesn't work out the way that we want it to, perhaps, perhaps it's an opportunity or something like that. It could be the universe putting a blockage in the way and saying that's not for you because we have something better for you. Right. Just be mindful of that today, collective. So let's get one of these namaste cards. Blessed tranquility. Your feelings are surfacing in order to be healed. Have faith and know that you are safe. Trust. The current waves of emotion shall become a sea of tranquility full of love and blessings. Indeed, when we just said here about tranquility, finding some peace, reaching that higher state of mind and balancing your emotions throughout the day are what are going to help you throughout and will indeed help you in the long run. If things are not working out today for you, Collective, know that it's just one day, right? There are seven days in a week. There are 30, 31 days in a month. In February, indeed, there are 29, 28 or 29. My point is, is that it's one day. Tomorrow is a day where you can still achieve. If you have to have a break today, have it. If you have to go 100% today and look forward to having a break on the weekend, do so. At least you're making an effort to push forward in life because even rest moments are important for you to rejuvenate. Going 100% all the time can be detrimental to you. It can lead to burnout. And then what? If you, you know, if you are depending on a business or you have dependents, you know, if you're burned out, you know, the point here is help yourself and you will be helped. You know, how can you care for others if, if you're burned out and if you don't care for yourself? Well, thank you for joining me here today, Collective. It's been a pleasure as always to read for you. Don't forget, hit that subscribe button. It'll help to keep you updated with any future developments. And as always, Collective, please take care of yourselves.